I have an interesting new product that I have required. It is a Pololu, if that is how you say it, uh, AVR ISP programmer. It's called a uh, USB AVR. This is kind of unique. It has a couple of interesting features. One, it can serve as just a uh, teletype port, and it has also a ISP6 programming connector on it. One of the things that's unique is you can plug this into a device that is programming itself, or excuse me, is powering itself with either 5 volts or 3.3 volts, and uh, this will not try to provide any power. Or you can configure it using the software configurer that uh, Pololus uh, provides, and you can set it up to to provide 5 volts or 3.3 volts. And it's set up to program like an AVR SDK 500 programmer. And uh, it's it's a very nice product. It's uh, under $10 from some sources. I think I paid 12 because I was impatient and bought it from a uh, faster but uh, good source. And so here's a little mini review of it. This photograph shows uh, a close-up of the Pololu programmer and also the ISP6 to ISP10 adapter that I used because I am going to a uh, device uh, that I made some years ago uh, for programming beer chips. This image shows the Pololu programmer connected to the device that I used to program various bare Atmel chips. It's currently set up for an AT Tiny 85, and I set up using uh, these jumper pins. When you first plug it in, the programmer will be set up for a device that supplies its own power, like an Arduino Uno. I'm going to be programming an AT uh, AT Tiny with no power of its own. So we're going to change the VCC output to enabled and the regulator mode from auto selection to 5 volts. And I'm going to apply the settings. And now we're good to go. For this example, we're just going to do a little blink program. And I'm setting it up for an AT Tiny 85 at 8 megahertz. The port is ACM0. ACM1 is the teletype port that you can look at output, but ACM0 is the programming output. And the programmer you set up is the Atmel STK500. And that's all there is to it.